Hello, I'm Dr. Hugh, and welcome back to the U.S. Carb Clinic this Thursday, June, whatever it is. Today is a, one of my favorite episodes. It's about propane, and I love propane. It's the coolest fuel on earth. It's, uh, it's the cleanest, one of the safest fuels we have available. As a matter of fact, uh, we're going to show you what it looks like in its liquid form, and here you go. Yeah, looks like water, doesn't it? Surprises you. Look at it. Even tastes like water. Oh, wait a minute, that is water. <laughs> All right, now we're going to really show you what propane looks like. This is the real deal. Now, don't do this at home. You really got to know what you're doing if you're going to uh, demonstrate propane and what it looks like in its natural state. But as you can see here, the propane is liquid looks just like water but notice our bobber these are both from the same package notice how that one's up in the top of the water and the other one's at the bottom well what's the reason for that propane is half the specific gravity of water so the same bobber that floats in water will sink to the bottom of propane now look at our pressure see our pressure right here is at 80 psi you can see that 80 psi if I had my chart, I could tell you, closer. well, I'll tell you what, let me get to the other camera. Uh, so, are you on the other camera? Okay. See the gauge is at 80 PSI? Is that good? It looks good? All right. So if you look at a vaporization chart on propane, you'll see at 80 PSI, you'll be somewhere around eh, 58 degree fuel, which is what the temperature of this is right now. And if I warm it up, and it's kind of hard to do. Whoop! Sorry about that. It's kind of hard to do without the. Uh, here, I better back up a little bit. You should be able to see it start to rise e ever so slightly. You'll see it one degree, two degree, but it's actually picking up heat from my body. The gas is, which is creating more vapor pressure. Now, this is why certain size cylinders can only be used on certain size engines. If you put too big of an engine on this cylinder. Uh, which is, I wanted to show that here. Don't go away. Here's a, here's a disposable uh, bottle. So this is about just over a quart that I have right here, because at 80 percent this is a quart or one pound cylinder. So I have just over a pound of propane right here. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to blow off some of the propane, and you're going to see what happens. Because right now it still looks like water, doesn't it? But this is when we know that it is not water. Now I want to do a little bit because that is raw propane vapor being released. But you've seen it boil. See, water boils at 212 Fahrenheit. Propane boils at 44 below zero, which is very interesting. So if we let it off slowly, You'll see it just slowly boil from the bottom. Can you get a good shot of that? See it? You got a little bit of bobber. And you notice the bobber is a different temperature. So that's why it's acting that way. It's so normally a bu bubble from the bottom. Can you see the top? And so now look at our gauge. What are we reading? We're reading just over 60, 60 PSI. So our gas is getting even colder. So there you have it. That's, that's what propane looks like. You've never seen it. You've bought it. You've uh, burned with it. You've run your generator with it. But of course, the main point of this is to explain why if you have a large engine and you hook it to a small cylinder, this is what happens. And what happens is because it boils at 44 below zero, the gas will gel up. And I'd really like to demonstrate that, but I think I got too much in here. I was gonna demonstrate how we can get it down to zero. I might back away and try that. Don't go away. You gotta get out where it's safe. All right. 
See, we're down to zero PSI. Zero PSI. See that? See your gauge? Zero PSI. But you still have all that liquid in there. How can you be empty if you have all that liquid? That's why you've seen it. If it wasn't for that bobber, it wouldn't be trying to replace so much uh, vapor. But watch when I close it off. Watch the gauge. Come on, gauge. Well, it won't take long. It'll go up to 100 pounds before too long. But anyway, she's still basically at zero. You gotta love that. That happens all the time, but you never see it. All right, any more about that? Can I do a violent one? No, it's no pressure. You gotta warm it up. I can try to warm it up a little bit, but that's what it takes. It's gotta have, has to have, uh, well, you see pressure coming up, but it's very slow. Like I said, no one should try doing this. It's very dangerous. This can burn you worse than fire. It's 44 below zero. It's an instant freezer burn, instant. And I've been doing this over 30 years, so uh, when, you're, when you jump out of airplanes for 30 years or do stuff like that, you tend to know how to do things a little better than everyone else, and you're also more apt to suffer a, a, an injury. So please don't try this at home. So we're almost up to 10 PSI. I can flare it real quick and see what happens. Yep. Nope. All right. Ready? Like I said, we're at, you notice I don't put my face in front of it because it's just like a gun. We're at 10 PSI. So here we go. It's good. Yep. Boiling to replace the vapor pressure. And again, water boils at 212 degrees. This is boiling at 44 below zero. And so we'll put that aside and we'll come back to it in a little bit, see what our pressure is up to. All right. Again, that was my favorite thing in the whole wide world to do. Of course, I'll wear my safety stuff. So what else do we have on today's show, Mr. Producer? Customer mail. Customer mail, let's go to customer mail. Do I have a copy of that? Oh, it's on the screen, well that's convenient. This customer asks, I have an original conversion kit. Can I just order the snorkel? Oh, sure, yes, absolutely. Um, you have one of the original engine, uh, engine regulator, zero governors, uh, definitely you can do a snorkel. Well, that was an easy one. I like why that. Why, one. Would, why would he want to do that? Why would he want to do that? Well, some customers uh, have not installed their kits from some time ago and uh, find out they have to cut the frame and sometimes, um, well, it's usually the reason. So once they find out the snorkel's available, then they want to do the snorkel instead. And so, yeah, it's an easy switch over. But that's the most common reason is not cutting the frame, of course. And the snorkel is just so easy to put on. It takes typically a couple minutes. Does that answer? Yeah. Cool. Next question. Yes. I bought a conversion kit for my Generac 17,500 watt generator. I'm trying to get the right natural gas line ran. Do you have a BTU conversion number for that generator? I see your current chart only goes to 12,500. Ah, so you're becoming your own electric company, huh? <laughs> 175. That's a massive unit. I think that's the one we had the video on that had full power on natural gas. It's either that one or the 15, one or the other. But anyway, uh, to answer your question, the charts were created over 20 years ago uh, using the laws of physics and just you know, general knowledge. And in 20 years, we've never had anyone say that our charts are not accurate or that the size was not sufficient. So having said that, uh, when it comes to that motor, the fact that I'd be, I'd be surprised if you can pull 17.5 for an hour, but at 12k, um, that si whatever size line it says for 12k, I'd go with that because uh, they are slightly, most likely, slightly oversized. So, if anything, you'll have more gas than you really need. So, uh, I would not worry about about that. Uh, but if there's any way to get high pressure natural gas over there, like 5 psi, and drop it down, you'll notice in our videos uh, that we have a regulator right at before the engine regulator, that's because we run 
uh, 5 psi natural gas here in the building and uh, we step it down right at the engine regulator to uh, eight, 8 inches water column. So if you can do that, that's great. Then you can run a small line, save a lot of money. But if not, then the charts, I'd go with the charts. You, I don't think you have a bit of problem. Okay, final customer mail. This question comes uh, from Germany. Ah. Name Dagmar. Dagmar wants to know, does motor snorkel come with a warranty? Oh, absolutely. Uh, Motor snorkel is made in America. Uh, our engine regulators that we use today are currently made in America, so the whole kit right now is currently made in America. Uh, the motor snorkels, we've given a lifetime guarantee for the past three years, and that's because, uh, mostly because of R&D, but uh, also because they're, they're basically bulletproof, unless they've been physically ripped or, or destroyed by uh, someone running them over or throwing them in a fire or something. We've had some nice pictures, uh, believe it or not, but in their regular use, they have a lifetime warranty. And uh, we know every once in a while, uh, something will crop up on the internet about uh, the snorkel being junk. And But I always, my first question is, how old is that system? How long ago did they buy it? And we had one recently where a customer said uh, he didn't feel like our product was useful at all. And kind of find out it's three years old. We sent him a replacement snorkel, and then he wrote back, he was happy as can be. So uh, definitely give us a chance. We're here for customer service. We believe in it. And uh, it's so to answer your question, plain and simple, lifetime guarantee in the snorkel, one year on the engine regulator. No questions from the live audience, Dr. Hugh, but we did reach a record viewership hey. in your propane demonstration. Propane. So, um, maybe you'd like to, I don't know if it's had a chance to, to build oh, back up oh. in pressure. Maybe we show it one more time before we sign off. I should have had Sean hugging it over there. That would have been good. No, we're still we're still at 15, but we can blow it off. We're at, you see it's frosting up. That's what happened to your cylinder. When it frosts up like that, you know you're pulling too much propane. And that's why you can have a frost line. See this right here? If When I blow this off, I might as well do it right here. I don't see anybody around. When I blow this off, this will be our frost line. So even though we have that much propane in here, uh, we're actually going to be empty when it compared to, uh, well, it'll be, it'll be as if we have no fuel, even though we have full amount of gas. So you want me to blow it off here? Oh, you want me? camera. Sean's going to come out and move away from the building a bit. Oh, yeah, that's right. You don't want me near the building? I don't need to be that far away. All right, here we go. I don't know. You tell me, Bri. So we've got the gauge. So we're, I've been trying to warm it a little bit. We're up to 20. But notice the uh, the frost, the uh, like popping a cold soda. See how it's, uh, all right, here we go. So we're at, we're almost at 20, and we're going to do a, we're going to do a live blow, blow, blow. Here we go. Now, if this was your tank at home, you would see, if this was your tank at home, you'd see a frost line right here. And you'd have that much gas below it, but up here, uh, you'd be empty. But you'd still have that much gas left, even though you have no pressure whatsoever. And if you could see it, I don't know if you can see the vapor coming out of there. It has vapor, but it's very slow vaporization. As soon as we close, it starts building back up. I love doing that. Man, that's my favorite thing to do. All right. Well, I guess that concludes the... The show for this week, Dr. Hughes says thank you for being here. Hope you can come back Tuesday. We'll try to... What's that? Phone number. Oh, phone number. It even works outside? Oh, cool, man. <laughs> Look, is it over? still over there, isn't it? Yeah. Never know which one. Oh, is it down there? Okay. 800-553-5608. Uh, of course, you can get us on email anytime. Uh, live chat when they're at their desks. And uh, we also have a forum. Be glad to see you there. Please, please like us. I think I saw the arrow thing on there. Tell your friends about us. Uh, if they've never seen propane before, it's uh, it's really quite interesting. So, uh, thanks again for being here. And uh, remember, it looks just like that. See you next time.